Uh, much music, Steve Anthony and Freely's Comet, or at least. Freely's. Freely's Comet. Freely's Comet. That's like uh, Halley's Comet or Hawk Comet or Haley's Comet, I guess. Wouldn't it be? Well, in, the, in, the, in the States, it's pronounced Halley's Comet. Really? I thought it was Haley's Comet. <laughs> This is Ace Freely, and this is John Reagan. Welcome, the official uh, West Music Handshake. Thank you. How you doing? Nice to see you. Fine. Uh, it's a new band for all intents and purposes. Intents and purposes, yeah. 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 What, would, what would the lineup be, and what would the credentials of the members of your band be? Well, I have John Reagan on bass. He can tell you his credentials. Oh. He doesn't like to talk about it. Like he played with Peter Frampton. He played with John Waite. Uh, he played on Billy Idol's album. Most, Billy Idol's most recent album. Uh, Rolling Stones' most recent album, Mick Jagger solo album, uh, Scandal. A bunch of people. Yay. Yeah. yeah. He's got some good credentials. Anton Fig played on uh, drums. Yeah. Everybody knows who Anton. Is. That's on the album. He's, is he? Is he? Yeah, not he's not touring. He's had a little baby. Yeah. A couple months ago. Yeah. First man to ever have a baby. <laughs> Did you know that? Do you have to get a license for that or something? Uh, no. We have Todd Howard with us playing guitar and singing. He used to be with Ted Nugent and Cheap Trick. That's, I found him with Cheap Trick. They had him hidden, but I dug him out. They had him hidden behind the side of the back of the amplifiers playing keyboard. Yeah, he's great. He's starting to make him a star. He's got a great voice. He sings lead on three tracks on the album. Oh, really? Yeah. And Billy Ward's on drums, our newest recruit. Mm -hmm. Is Anton ever going to go out on the road with you? Uh, we can't say. You can't legally, or you're not sure whether he'll be able to? Legally, it's, uh, I think it's against the law to say this. But, you know, <laughs> go ahead, nobody's watching. I have nothing to do with legalities. We have, like, there's Bob, and there's Ted, and there's uh, Johnny watching. So there's is three you, of them, and none of them are lawyers, so. Is Eugene watching? Eugene, really? Yeah. Eugene tunes in this? and out, though. Remember Eugene, this in Eugene tunes in between yeah. commercials, though, on other networks, so. What do you think? We got the kind of, I interviewed a group, uh, an Eng uh, German group. You, in you interviewed a group? How were we? I was on, a, on MTV in New York. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. And with the lead guitarist and the singer. For some reason, they sat like this for the whole interview. And, I, and I the guy kept going like this. Why. Yeah. You guys have to be encouraged by, well, I, I don't want to be presumptuous to say this, but checking out the, the charts, the album charts over the past couple of months, and certainly in the last couple of weeks, hard rock is now acceptable acceptable again. It always has been, but now it's yeah. it's reached that mass appeal level. White Snake, Bon Jovi, the Motley Crue, which has always kind of been there, Poison, Cinderella. Is that is that the fact that that's happening, is that encouraging for you? Did you I think it's good timing for for this album yeah. right now. I think it's probably a better time now. Now's the ideal time for the re release of this record and I think it's uh it's really just, you know, it's the right time for I'm the surprised. record. And, you know, we're like over I am, I am well, I'm encouraged by it, but I'm surprised too that stuff like that is doing so well. I think, uh, I think people are finally realizing that, you know, there's a place for uh, rock and roll. Yeah. On a mass appeal level. Absolutely. 1983, you uh, said you were... Back like, in the summer of 83, yeah. there's a reason Toast. I remember it well. Toast. I was Toast. drinking Toast. and driving. Mm. Oh, no, I'm not going to... Oh, that's... Do you think I'm going to ask that question? You have to tell that story. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the song, Rock Soldiers. Oh, okay, well, let's talk about the song, Rock Soldiers. We don't have to. No, I want to. <laughs> just I'm trying to put this we in... We just shot the video watch. here uh, today, it's yesterday, wrong. in Toronto. Great. Right. Yeah. And uh, came out real good. What's, what's the premise of it? Is it a thematic video? The video is basically a performance video with the help of 75... Torontonians. Torontonian <laughs> guitar players. Yeah. Italian uh, guitar, uh, guitar players. players. Yeah, it's great. 75 yeah, we kids. We did a little thing on the uh, radio. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we're playing on stage, and then in front of us is a guitar army. An army. <laughs> or heavyweight playing, playing guitar. Yeah. 1978, um, all, the, all the members of KISS did solo things, and it's a documented fact that it was only something from your solo effort that did nominally oh, really? well. Oh, yeah, the other stuff. Yeah. Uh, Kind of vacillated there, kind of set. Yeah, I'm real that happy with that record. You're, you that, are or you aren't? No, I was real happy with that album. Basically, that was that album was an awakening for me. Yeah, I was going to say, did it plant a seed for you? Planted a big seed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically, after the success of that record, I kind of realized I was eventually going to have my own band. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Why um, did it take between 83 and, and like 86 before you actually could uh, put something on vinyl? Well, at, at, at that time we had just signed a $10 million record contract. So, you know, I wasn't about to leave the group that, that year. Yeah. But uh, eventually, you know, 
through a course of events, I decided it was time to go, yeah. You know, the, the Elder album wasn't really a good album for me, and I wasn't happy with that album. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had a car accident, you know, so it was just a basic a, a course of events that happened. Finally, I decided it was time to leave. Bing. Yeah. I met Johnny, I met Anton, you know, we got together as a power trio first, and uh, developed into Pirelli's Comet. You ever, ever look back at the stuff uh, during the Kiss days and, and kind of snicker a bit and go, boy, that was really wild. I have fond memories of Kiss. You know, I was with Kiss for 10 years, 1973 to 1983. And most of my memories are, are real good, you know. We were on top of the world. And uh, I've learned a lot from being uh, with Kiss, and I'm probably going to make less mistakes now than I made then, you know. Because, you know, very few people get the, get the chance to go, go this way twice. Yeah. And uh, I, feel my, I feel very fortunate. Still, still keep in contact with the other guys? Yeah, we, we speak on the phone. I haven't seen them in person in a couple of years. John, um doing the album how much how much did the other members of the band have to do with recording the songs or at least the overall the overall uh, input, gosh, input right? yeah. well the nice thing about working in this project is ace gives everyone free, free reign and he encourages you to to really come out of your shell which is very unusual smell a smell <laughs> escargot <laughs> no it, it, it was a lot of fun everyone had a lot of input and subsequently it was a lot quicker that way we finished the record and we looked at each other and we just had a great time. It's, it wasn't like work for some reason. And a lot of sessions turned into work. But this, we just went in and knocked it out. How, how much of the album is written by members of the band? Uh, most of it. Except for the first, this release, which is which we're going to see the video. Most ballads, yeah. right. Yeah. The same gentleman who wrote uh, New York Group. Right. That was my first big hit. Is that coincidental or did you go to him for other songs? Was, because New York well, Group. it wasn't coincidental, but uh, actually John's wife, discovered the song. He brought it to in my a bin attention. somewhere in a desk drawer. Now Ace had the tape yeah. unopened. I said I could take this home and listen to it. So I played it and Kathy picked the song out, wherever you are, hello. And uh, that was it. And Bob's your uncle, so to speak. But Don Wosley sent me the tape. So he was he first planted the seed, my old uh, promotion man from Casablanca Records. Still with him? No. No. <laughs> He, Actually, so he, works, he works for a shoe company now. We're trying to work an endorsement out for an Ace Frehley sneaker. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. I like gear. Uh, All right, I guess uh, we, we will do this video now. Um, Frehley's comment, Into the Night, here on Much Music. Rock and roll.
The question kettle's coming. <clears throat> Into the night, Freely's Comet, and uh, John and Ace are here with us in the studios. Um, we're going to talk about Kiss Exposed, that video, in, in a little while. Okay. In the show, Freely's Comet, what do you what do you perform? Obviously, the stuff from the latest album, Freely's Comet. How much how much Kiss stuff do you perform? I'm doing some old stuff like Cold Gin, Deuce, yeah. uh, Shock Me, Rocket Ride. Yeah. Yeah. All these but goodies. All these but goodies. Um, the, 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 you, you were in Ottawa yesterday, you said. Yeah. You're in Toronto tonight at Rock and Roll Heaven. And what are the dates in Canada to do? I understand you disappear and then come back. Where, I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> well, no, you, did, you said you did Ottawa. We're in Ottawa. It was beautiful. Yeah. We'll be back here probably in the fall sometime. But it's just Rock and Roll Heaven tonight. Rock and Roll Heaven tonight, and if you can get in. The oh. line's around the block right now. Really? Or come down anyway, you never know. Yeah. Okay, I'll get to this right away. Um, all day today, we've been basically offering little scenarios where somebody says something really stupid to you and maybe i've even done that have i you might have yeah. <laughs> well you didn't respond anyway somebody says something stupid to you and you have that comeback line your favorite comeback brilliant comeback line whatever a few bricks short of a load and i asked you guys ahead of time to prepare your favorite comeback line for when stupid dj people ask you stupid questions well what would yours be done <laughs> 